Welcome to ZCast, everyone. I'm Zias Caraval from ZK Research, and I'm here at the Cisco stand inside the Expo Hall at GTC uh, DC 2025. I'm with Will uh, Ethington from uh, Cisco. Uh, welcome back. I just talked to you this morning. And I'm with Ian Hartley, CEO of Blue Sky Compute. Uh, and we're going to have a, uh, your uh, Cisco customers. So we're going to talk about AI trends and some of the things you're doing with Cisco. Uh, but first, uh, uh, Ian, just a quick intro on yourself and what Blue Sky does. Of course. So Blue Sky Compute is a Neil Cloud focused on turning AI into ROI for the world's companies. And so what that really means is we're not just selling compute, we're selling everything that goes around it that makes ROI happen for enterprise. And that means data services, that means model selection, model implementation, and of course the compute to run it all on, orchestrated by Blue Sky. And so what we're selling is really the outcome rather than the ingredients. Okay. And uh, uh, Will, just a uh, quick reminder as to what you do at Cisco. Uh, so I run engineering for networking at Cisco uh, and have been very involved with the NVIDIA partnership since its inception. Okay. And uh, uh, I'm just curious, Ian, so uh, there are a number of NeoCloud providers, right, today, and it's a big booming market. Uh, what do you feel Blue Sky's differentiator is here? Just as you point out, there are so many Neo Clouds, each one of them is selling the raw ingredients of AI. What we do at Blue Sky is focus on tying it together to produce value for enterprise. And so that means we'll consult on data services, model selection, model implementation, of course the compute, and finally orchestrating it all to ensure that it does exactly what you want. Oh, so when you say full stack, it's not just the tech stack, but it's all the things that surround it as well. Is that a good That's 100% right. Okay. That's 100% right. And you are a customer of Cisco's. You've been working with them for a while. Uh, what's that relationship like, and how are you able to So I'll, I'll, uh, one of the okay. things I think that we've seen is this is an example of how fast this industry is moving. So uh, as Ian and Blue Sky have moved quickly from you know the funding and the planning stage to the build out, we've partnered on the architecture using the new cloud reference architecture that we've talked about that has the, 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 the switching, the compute, as well as storage. And so bundling all that together is a validated solution and then working with uh, Ian and his company. Okay. And uh, how's your relationship with the, part the, the partnership been? You know, what we love about Cisco is we're more than just a customer of yeah. Cisco. We feel like a true partner. And that's evidenced not only in the products we buy, but also the services that they give us around that and tying it all together. You know, much like Blue Sky makes sure AI works for yeah. companies, Cisco's making sure our infrastructure just works. And that's really important as you scale. Yeah, and, um, uh, and so your products obviously AI at the core, they are AI in some ways. And when you think about the journey you've been on, what are some of the challenges you had in scaling the infrastructure? Look, as you build out larger training clusters and you develop a diversified portfolio between inferencing and training, it's important to recognize that you know, issues happen. And so we wanted to work with a company that was prepared to handle scale, right? The Cisco products and the Cisco networking do exactly that. With Cisco's other integrated services like security and other things that they offer, it provides us an entire stack and an entire end-to-end -end that we're able to absorb and focus on doing what matters, which is turning AI into ROI for clients. One of the examples would probably be uh, in the benchmarking area. So, you know, there's been a lot of interest to make sure that the performance is equivalent between the Ethernet solution that we'll be deploying uh, with Blue Sky as well as InfiniBand. So we, our benchmarking team has gone through, done that testing, including with, uh, the, you know, they, they made a selection with Vast, uh, so including the storage side, putting all that together and then reviewing that so that they don't have to start that from scratch. They can start from the, the, the reference architecture that we've already assembled and tested and get going very quickly. All right, and um, you know, so we're here at the show, and you guys uh, uh, just announced. In fact, it just hit the press uh, uh, recently. Uh, the new N9100 switch here, uh, and uh, can you tell us a little bit about this switch? Sure. So, Are you excited uh, about this? So we've already Most been definitely. selling the 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 Cisco uh, N9300, which is Cisco Silicon, and then you can add a Spectrum X license. The new addition with the N9100 is the same Nexus and Sonic options that we would have across our portfolio but now with a Spectrum ASIC from NVIDIA so that customers can have uh, either option um, but with a common operational layer um, and so they can, for instance, use one, you know, the 9100 for back end, the 9300 for front end, or some customers could use the 9300 with Cisco Silicon for both. So the, whatever combination the customer Yeah, whatever looking, choice they but want. But make it yeah. consistent operationally. Yeah, and, what, and uh, Ian, have you had a chance to look at this yet? Is it, 
Not only have I chance to yeah. look at it, we're going to be- What excites you about this product? Well, first of all, we're going to be the first Neo Cloud in the world to deploy this product right here. What's so unique and what we're really excited about is that this provides a congruent story for us. More than just you know one east-west fabric from one provider and a north-south from the other, we're getting both from Cisco. It's an integrated story and it just works out of the box. And that's why we're so excited to be really a leader in deploying this. Not only being a leader in deploying it, we'll have the ELT units, so the early testing. EF EFT, yeah. yeah. Yeah, EFT units, early testing. We're going to yeah. be deploying those right away. So, very excited so about right this. Right so you're taking yeah. this one with you? Yeah, yeah. 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 if they'll let me, I'll take yes. it right yeah. now. Yeah. You yeah. get Jensen's signature yeah. on it yeah. first. Yeah. I think that's 100%. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And Chuck's. Don't forget Chuck's. Chuck's. Yeah. 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 Now, um, uh, Ian, I know you're trying to manage distributed infrastructure for both training and inferencing, and you know, while people think of those are both kind of related to AI, they do have, a, they're both different as, as, they're in, as to the impact on the network, right? And so, since you're trying to do both, what, what, what kind of unique challenges does that create for it? Of course, and so ultimately, what we see a lot of on the NeoClouds have is just one optimized inference stack, one optimized training stack. Yeah. For us, we're building holistic infrastructure that's highly flexible, and it's also global first. And so that means we need a congruent story from north-south and east-west throughout all of our infrastructure. Again, it's tracking back to that idea that it just works. And so like, that's why we're very excited to be deploying something like this, which really completes the picture yeah. of, of, you know, we had the Cisco North-South, and now we've got the Cisco East-West, and it's and, NVIDIA print, and which is The huge. other aspect we've talked, which we are looking to help over time, is in a multi-data center context, uh, the, the DCI, the optics, and what that takes from a, a routing architecture in order to bring those together. That's something we obviously have a lot of experience, and for companies like Blue Sky Compute, we think that that's the next step is going beyond treating these each independently and starting you know, the scale across type. That's right. Yeah, well that's, that's right. Jensen's whole vision of yes. the new unit of compute is really one, not just one data center, but in fact, several data centers tied together, right? Of course. Yeah, and now training, from what I understand, drives a lot of east-west traffic and inferencing north-south, right? Typically, like you said, companies stand those up as separate instances, right? Why did you decide to do that as one step? Ultimately, what we're seeing now is that many companies running training, of course, want to infer their models and they want to run them. And they don't just want to run them in one place, they want to run them globally. And so it's important that we have a story that's congruent across all the compute we use to offer flexibility. If you want to be on the West Coast, East Coast, global in one of our partner locations, we'll have the same story, the same experience, and the same reliability everywhere. Yeah, well, and this switch is handled for both. It's designed for both, right? Yes, yeah, yeah absolutely. Right. And I think we've, we've seen that even in the inference context, while some of the, the medium to large might fit on a single system, that things like large context windows, uh, as well as trying to get high That's utilization, right. start to be benefit of having that high scale out bandwidth, even for the inference case, and then also being able to, to, to change up the, the split between That's inference right. and training. Yeah, and uh, well, uh, I know a big part of the go-to-market for Cisco to, to remove a lot of the complexity is the validated designs, yes. um, and uh, I think you took advantage of those. Uh, yes, and so, uh, can you talk about, first of all, what those are, and then maybe add some commentary as how they helped you? Yes, so what we've done with the, and you know, we participate in multiple, there's the Enterprise Reference Architecture for NVIDIA, uh, there's NCP, which the 9100 will be a key part of. Which and is the cloud. The, 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 that's the, yeah, NVIDIA Cloud oh, Partner Program. Yeah. And then the new thing we're adding is the, the Cisco Cloud Reference Architecture. So this has been done, and the key part is we've gone through and we've tuned the software stack. So uh, the Rocky RDMA on the host stack, the configuration of the switches, the configuration of the NICs, and then we've achieved that high level of utilization that's right on par with InfiniBand. And then the goal is that that, that can go you know, very quickly for a customer like Ian, that he can uh, ramp that up as, as he's currently doing um, without having to, to spend the six months experimenting. Yeah. Um, and so that's a key component. And then uh, the vast partnership, which uh, uh, Ian, also has taken advantage of, we've also done extensive testing and uh, configuration on how that works into the cluster. Yeah. And then how did it help you? Again, it really tracks back to the, the whole story, right? We are now focusing on global expansion and how do we deliver the same experience everywhere, right? This is a huge part of that. Everything you just said is a huge part of that. Working with Cisco broadly on this product and really everything else you're offering helps us realize that in a way that just lets us focus on doing what we do for customers. Yeah, and so how fast are you, where are you looking to expand? Like how fast are you So thinking? right now, we have an east location, a west location. 
we are partnering with a company, you'll see that very soon, where we're opening up nearly 100 locations around the world that will seed some level of availability. And so really, for us, what's coming in the future is global inference platform. That's what we're building. And so this is part of that story. And it really does seem like a lot of the early AI use cases went to hyperscalers, but that hockey stick uh, expansion that we're going to see is really going to be driven by companies like yourself, the Neoclouds, right? That's and right. what, again, amazes me is the speed. Like, we start engaging on the architecture and yeah. design, going through the benchmarking, and that's very quickly progressed to purchase and starting to build out uh, jointly with a new technology. And so this is a, a much faster pace where it used to take a year or two, now it's counted in months. Yeah, well, you're yes. scaling, and I think uh, <laughs> during his keynote, Jensen talked a lot about having to move at light speed. And so, yes, that's right. Uh, I, you know, I think we're doing that. So, and uh, just uh, to wrap things up, we are here at GTCDC. Any, any thoughts from the show? Anything you're taking away from this? Uh, uh, so I've actually never been to DC before, so this is oh, amazing for me. This is for us. And I'm now planning I have to be back every year. So yeah. that's, that's my plan. But no, it's been a, a great experience, um, and the, the number of customers uh, to meet this week has just been awesome. Yeah, well, it's a lot of federal, and yes. I was wondering if we'd have the audience because of the, uh, because of the shutdown, but boy, this place is packed. Yes, they, yeah. they, I think they're coming while they're on furlough in many yeah. cases, yeah. yes. And how about you? What are your, uh, what'd you take away from the show? It's always wonderful to hear from Jensen. It's always wonderful to hear from our customers, partners, yeah. meeting with Cisco and our other partners. And so for us, it's just more of the same of what GTC was last year. And great experience to, to move Can never the get enough forward. GTC, yeah. yeah and so that's right. uh, just last question, right? Obviously, uh, AI is hot, right? There's a lot of companies looking at it. There's uh, been a lot of reports of companies maybe not getting the ROI that they're looking for. Uh, I question some of those studies, but I'm just curious is if you were to make a couple recommendations to organizations looking to now scale their AI infrastructure and go on from vision and pilot to production, what piece of advice would you give? So this is advice that is obviously a little bit self-serving, but it's, it's I think- Well, the, you can help them, so but it's, it's fine. But it's also yeah. the biggest problem, right? There's a lot of people out there who will be willing to sell you equipment or ingredients and let you try and go piece it together into value. When you're building AI, you always need to be thinking value first. That's why we talk proof of value, not proof of concept. How do I make you a star, right? That's what we. That's the question we answer. And Will, I have a from you. No, I, I think we're, uh, we're, we're seeing a lot of customers where they have existing data centers, and then they're looking at how to take the, the first steps. Um, I think obviously once you get past that sandboxing and trials, um, you know, starting with a 64 GPU cluster, looking for something that can be an extension and a common management model, that, that's key. And, and then, you know, for new Neo clouds like, like Blue Sky, we're absolutely excited to work with them. Also. Yeah, well, certainly in the future. And so, uh, uh, I like that. Uh, uh, not proof of concept, but proof of value. That's right. Yeah, well, that's, that's a good piece of advice. So on that note, uh, anything else you guys want to add? Well, thank you so much for your time. No, thank you yeah. very much for your time. I appreciate hearing your story, and it's always good to hear from a NeoCloud provider because, as I said, that's really where the scale for you has to go. So on behalf of Willie Linden from Cisco and Ian Hartley from Blue Sky Compute, uh, from Blue Sky Compute. Uh, I'm Zeus Caraval from ZK Region. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button and give us a like, and I'll see you next time on the next episode of Zcast. <laughs>